A business can't run well if it doesn't listen to its customers, and good listening gets a lot easier with the right software. Zoho Desk and Freshdesk are two tools made to help teams keep track of questions, issues, and requests without getting overwhelmed. They do the same job in different ways though. One focuses more on giving you full context, while the other tries to speed things up and handle conversations from many places at once. We're here to take a closer look at how both helps you get through your customers and understand which one makes your support team's day smoother. Let us first speak of how it feels to walk into these tools. When a new member joins your tribe, you do not want them lost in a thicket of confusion. With Zoho Desk, it begins with a simple creation of an account, where you verify your name and purpose. The layout is not a maze. You have a navigation bar at the top to switch between your tasks, and a sidebar on the left to guide you to your departments. Even the alerts rest quietly at the bottom, waiting for your eyes. It is a beginner-friendly place, where new agents can find their footing within hours. And for those who travel, the mobile app, or the radar app, keeps the single-screen view clear, so we their focus can never get lost. Freshdesk, on the other side, welcomes you with what they call gamification. It tries to make the work feel like a game, offering quests and badges to keep the spirit high. The interface is clean, yes, and known for being intuitive. It uses a feature called collision detection, which is like a scout warning you if another hunter is already chasing the same deer, preventing two agents from working on the same ticket. It is easy to learn, but some may find the game-like elements a distraction from the true hunt. Now let's talk about remembering the faces and stories of those who seek your help. In Zoho Desk, this knowledge is kept in the Customers tab, a place of two rooms, Contacts and Accounts. Here you can gather the names and numbers of the people in the Contact section. If you have a great many names, like leaves on a tree, you can bring them all in at once using a CSV file, mapping each leaf to its proper branch. You can then link these people to the Accounts tab, which holds the names of the tribes or businesses they belong to. It gives you a connected view where no relation is forgotten. Freshdesk handles this memory differently. It speaks of contacts and companies. When you look at a person's record, you see a timeline. It shows every ticket, every forum post, and every call in one flow. It creates a unified customer view. While Zoho focuses on the structure and connection of the data, Freshdesk focuses on the timeline of events. Following the path of data, we arrive at the daily labor the tickets. Zoho Desk offers you strong tools to build your own way of working. It has blueprints, which are like maps drawn in the sand, visually outlining exactly how a complex problem must be solved. It allows the elders, the managers, to set rules that highlight the most urgent cries for help, or escalate them if silence lingers too long. There is a headquarters view, a dashboard that shows the live traffic of requests, and a team feed to see who is speaking to whom in real time. It is a visual way to ensure the load is shared evenly across the shoulders of the team. Freshdesk takes a very straightforward, practical approach. Its scenario automations let you handle several tasks at once, like tagging a ticket, assigning it, sending a reply, and updating its status, all triggered together, instead of doing each step by hand. It also supports parent-child ticketing, which groups many related issues under one main ticket, so your team can update everything in one go. It's an efficient system that keeps things organized, though it's not as visual or step-by-step -step as Zoho's blueprint feature. Sometimes the voice travels through the air, and you must be ready to catch it. Zoho Desk does not hold the voice within its own chest by default. It calls upon friends like PhoneBridge or Zoho Voice to bring in the sound. But once this connection is made, the power is great. Agents can see who is calling with a pop-up before they even speak, like seeing a visitor approach the camp. If a call is missed, it does not vanish into the wind. It transforms into a ticket automatically, which ensures that no voice goes unheard. Freshdesk carries its own voice solution called Freshdesk Contact Center. You can buy a local number from a faraway land instantly. It offers call masking that allows you to speak to a customer without revealing your personal number. Since it is native, the integration is deep, but Zoho's ability to connect with many different voice providers gives you freedom if you already have a preferred system. 
As we walk further, we must speak of promises made and the tasks that fill the day. Zoho Desk treats a promise with great respect through its contracts module. Here you define the agreement, when the service starts, when it ends, and what is included. You can set alerts so you know when the treaty is about to expire. Alongside this, there is the Activities tab. This is where you track the movements of your agents, their calls, their meetings, the tasks they must complete. It keeps the schedule clear and honors the time of the tribe. Freshdesk does not have a dedicated contracts place in the same way. It relies more on SLA policies, service level agreements. It watches the clock to make sure you answer within the promised time, but it does not manage the contract document as deeply as Zoho does. For activities, Freshdesk uses to-do lists and time logs on tickets. It tracks the minutes spent, but it lacks the dedicated activities calendar that Zoho provides to oversee the broader movements of meetings and calls. Zoho Desk understands that people speak from many places. It builds a single shelter for all these messages. Whether they come from WhatsApp, Facebook Messenger, or SMS, they all arrive in one interface. The agent does not need to run between different tents. They see the full history right next to the ticket. You can even set up chatbots to greet the visitor and ask the first questions, saving the strength of your warriors for the harder battles. Freshdesk uses a tool called FreshChat to do this work. It is a strong tool bringing messages into a unified inbox. It is very good at proactive messaging, starting the conversation before the customer even asks. However, Zoho's approach of integrating these channels directly into the desk setup feels very cohesive for a team that wants everything, chats and tickets, tightly woven together under one roof. So we have reached the end of our trail. The choice now lies in your hands. If your tribe seeks a tool that is flexible, affordable, and lets you manage contracts and deep data with a visual touch, Zoho Desk is the right ground you should build upon. But if you need a system with the phone built right into the bone, and you prefer a gamified, quick-moving interface that focuses heavily on social timelines, then Freshdesk may be the path for you. Choose the tool that fits the hand of your team. Try them now and share your experience in the comments below. Thanks for watching. Like, share, and subscribe to get more videos like this.